I think I'd be lying if I, if I said I didn't want to win a medal this summer. <laughs> there he is, crown champion at the Pan Am Games last summer, Canada's very first gold medalist there, and he is looking to grab gold again in this event. BMX cycling. He's Tori Nyhawk from Coquitlam, BC, 24 years old as of just 10 days ago, so we should wish him a happy belated birthday. Uh, he is in the Netherlands this morning, so we get to spend some face time with Tori Nyhawk, our first guest. Good morning to you, Tori. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you for being here as we count down 100 days. Let me just start right there. What's your immediate reaction when I say that to you, Tori? 100 days to go until the Olympics. 100 days, it's amazing how close it gets and it's amazing how the fast four years comes around. Like it feels like yesterday I was just in London and now we're coming up on Rio and it's a very exciting time. I bet it is for you. And there you are, speaking to you from the Netherlands, Arnhem, uh, to be precise, in the eastern part of the country. People watching, asking the same question I am. What are you doing there? I'm here at Papendal, the Dutch Olympic Training Center, training this week and next week. Uh, we have our third World Cup of the year next week, and then from there we go to the World Championships in three weeks, and that's uh, kind of the last big race before the Olympics this summer. So a, a training focus right now for you in the Netherlands. Whatever you're doing there seems to be working because you've already won back-to-back -back victories in the time trials at the two previous World Cup races. That was in Argentina and that was Manchester. We have some visuals of that. I say you must be doing something right. Why do you think things are coming together as well as they seem to be right now, Tori? I had a good off-season to build up for this year. Uh, I had a big injury at the end of 2014. and. Uh, so last year, I think I raced at about 95%. I wasn't quite at my best. And uh, we had, a, like I said, we had a big off season this year. We worked on our weaknesses and uh, we came into the year as strong as I possibly could. And uh, things are going well. And I'm just trying, really trying to enjoy the journey. It's an exciting time for me and I'm going to do the best I can. You were in Rio already, I know, back in March, trying out the test track or testing the track on which you'll be racing for the games. And I know you posted some video to Facebook to give us a first-person perspective of what's it like to be on a BMX bike going down that starting slope and racing around those curves at 60K and going over the jumps. Pretty incredible. But I'm wondering, this track was panned back in October. It wasn't race ready. What did you think of the, of the track now and the facilities when you were there back in March? I think the changes that were made from last year to this year were really good. Uh, the track's extremely fast and it's technical, but it's wide open as well. I think it still needs a few little adjustments, but overall they did a really good job. They listened to the feedback, which was really cool. Um, I think it's going to be a great show for the Olympics. Fingers crossed that it will be for you. Now, I have to ask about one thing, because anybody knows your past, knows that you're, you're as well known for your successes as you are for your injuries, or vice versa, your injuries as well as you are from your successes. You've had dozens of broken bones. You mentioned the Olympics in 2012. You competed there in London just weeks after doctors removed your spleen because of an earlier crash. What are you going to do, Tori, to stay intact and to stay healthy in these remaining 100 days? I mean, like our sport's an extreme sport for sure, and um, you know, like any sport, we definitely have to battle through injuries. But uh, with my, you know, big support staff with B210 and on the podium of Cycling Canada, they've I have such an individualized program that they've been able to rehab me and, and get me to 100%. And uh, I felt the best I ever felt now, and that's exciting for me. Uh, as a group, we've all worked really hard, and I couldn't do without their support. And um, you know, I just want to go into Rio this summer 100%, uh, ready as I can be, and do my best, and have no regrets at the end. It's going to be your second Olympics. We mentioned the uh, London Games in 2012 a couple of times. How do you think the experience this time is going to be different? It's going to be different for sure because, I mean, I was just a kid at the last London Olympics and um, I wasn't going in 100%. But, you know, going through that whole experience and, and going to the Pan Am Games as well, I know what to expect at a major games going in and I kind of know how things work. And, um, you know, just racing year after year and gaining more experience is going to help as well. And, you know, the Olympics are an amazing opportunity. It's something that many people don't ever get to uh, take part in. I feel very privileged that I'm able to do what I do, and I hope I'm in Rio and hope I'm going for a medal. Hope so. You know, it's been a real pleasure for us to meet you on a couple of occasions on the road to Rio. I hope we see you there. Best of luck in this last World Cup race and then in the World Championships to come, Tori. Thanks for the time this morning. Thanks very much for having me.